Hello, hello. Welcome back to Destiny. We're uh, we're back. Ah, uh, welcome back. Yeah, timely updates. What a thing. So, uh, first off, I wanted to show this off. It's something we got last update, but I forgot to mention. It's a loot box. And what is in this loot box? Stuff that came out in the April update. I hope update. it's nerd attire. Oh, it is absolutely nerd attire. So, uh, we got a bunch of this chroma stuff. I actually have no idea what it does because I haven't played in a while. And we also no, got... Call me crazy, but I'm going to say it will change the color of items you're wearing. Pretty sure, yeah. So yeah, we got also these gloves, which are useless to us at the moment and probably will remain useless. But who knows? That three armor seems pretty pathetic. A little bit. So yeah, we got some housekeeping to do in the tower. Uh, as I mentioned last video, the Taken King made things a little bit more linear. So, uh... Pretty much after every mission, we're going to have to take a stop in the tower and talk to somebody. But uh, that's no big deal, because that was probably going to happen anyway. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, Bungie. Way to, way to just interrupt the flow that I was experiencing here. <laughs> so I don't you understand... You ruined our LP. <laughs> I don't understand why, but I'll, uh, I continue to get these sterling treasure boxes. I don't know if it's like a daily thing or, or what, but yeah. It's all the same stuff. Um, just a bunch of chroma stuff and uh, gear that is useless. As yeah, far as Ugg I can tell, it's jumping least. skills. Ugg is the star of the, uh, the Last Cities NBA tournament. Hmm. Yeah. I can see. Go, Ugg. He's got some professional jump skills. <laughs> professional athlete and destroyer of worlds. Well, Guardian. <laughs> oh, God, this guy doesn't have a face. You've seen him before. It's a speaker. I'm sure he has a face. He just never shows face? it. Good. Or maybe that's what he wants you to think. Until we meet again, Guardian. Okay, there's two schools of thought here. Either he's incredibly attractive or he's incredibly ugly. <laughs> Well, he is voiced by Bill Nighy, so he might be some fucking stud. Maybe he just has a black hole where his face should be. <laughs> so yeah, talking to the speaker, he told us to go talk to the gunsmith, so we're going to go grab that, and we'll be on our way. I'm surprised there's still so many people online. Oh yeah, Destiny's... Okay. Never really going to be empty, as far as I can figure. It's fun enough to play, just to spend a couple hours zoning out, shooting things. Yeah, that's until next time. You say that, but why does that guy have a robot face? <laughs> that guy was a robot. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Anyway, as I was saying, I never thought COD Four would ever lose a community, and like, there's still people playing it, but barely. Anymore. Yeah. It'll oh, happen. Well. It will happen. Probably when Destiny 2 comes out. There's got to be a way to find out what the Hive are planning. That ghost we recovered found a library in their fortress called the World's Grave. The World's Grave? It's said to hold everything they My have. word. Must be a pretty big place if, if it's a grave for an entire world. I'll steal all I can. The World's Grave. Or maybe it is a grave filled with worlds. Hmm. The world's grave is deep in their fortress. Yeah, I don't know. It appears like it's on the moon, right? There's an ancient yeah. knight who protects it. I can lead us. I don't think the moon's big enough to, to face him to have a lot of worlds in it. <laughs> Alternate dimensions. You gotta think big. Or think small. Ooh. Got you there, didn't I? You sure did. So, I'm still... I'm not entirely thrilled with this auto rifle of mine. I mean, it's good, but it's like... You have to be super accurate or else it just does no damage. And as we all know from the Call of Duty LPs, you are not that accurate. I'm not that bad. Except for that time. <laughs> <laughs> this is embarrassing. I've seen you play on PC. I did just fine on PC, I'll, I'll have you know. 
So, um, coming up, um, well, nah, I'll wait till we get there. It'll be easier to explain then. Oh, okay. I remember this place. Do you now? Because we've never been here. Looks familiar. Oh, okay, so really it's exactly the, the same thing that filled it with the all hive. sorts of chambers and catacombs. Yeah, it's, it's just hive architecture. All looks the same. That seems like a really lazy way to get around the fact that everything just looks the same. Oh, yeah. They, it's easier to design. I mean, there's some interesting parts like this right here. We got the big old bridge. But yeah, um, my usual technique is to sit up here and just snipe forever. But that's boring. Let's get in there. Get in there. Get in the midst of the action. I think that guy got team killed. Either that or one of your really inaccurate shots just somehow managed to graze him. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, like I said, I usually snipe because this hallway used to be pretty danger, but now it's not even that big of a deal. I absolutely love how that one dude ran in front of your bullets. Yeah. I'll get him! Oh, I got shot to death. Yeah, enemies, when you're close by, tend to do that for some reason. Like, it happened last video, too. Maybe the hive are just the giant suicide cult. <laughs> So, up ahead there is a thing, I'm pointing at it now, that is actually an enemy. You'll see what it does shortly. If we go too this far... Looks like architecture. Yeah, that's the danger of it. But uh, if we go too far across this bridge, it'll actually open up and start shooting you. And that thing hurts. A lot. In fact, I was just trying to bait it right there to get it to open up, because that's the only time you can actually damage it. Wait. They can phase through existence. Pretty much. Damn. No wonder these guys can invade places so easily. Right. Thing is, though, they send cannon fodder at you. It's almost as bad well, as the grunts. The thing is, right, you could be sitting in your house enjoying a nice cup of tea, and then bam, all of a sudden. Billions of um, ground troops in your face. Yeah. And all you wanted was a nice cup of tea. <laughs> I hate wizards. So much. Yeah, he's ducking and weaving. Or just a smidgen. So yeah, there he goes. If I leave it alive too long, it'll actually shoot out some of those orbs you see flying around. And those things home in on you really, really well. These ones are just kind of lazy tracking because I killed it. And even so, they would know, fucking ruin my day if I let them. Makes sense. So I think the plan for me is to find a really good shotgun and start going to town with that thing um, soon. Just so I can keep uh, moving forward and not sitting back sniping. No temptation, this you know. Holds the key to finding the grave. Um, we'll have to kill him. I mean, yeah. If you have a sniper rifle, you feel like sniping. Yeah. It's just I so much fun. I always feel like sniping. It's one of my favorite things in video games. Maybe that's how the Earth got destroyed. Like, the world leaders were busy taking a synchronized dump, and all of a sudden they faced into the toilet. <laughs> I mean, it could happen, right? Probably. <laughs> then they really got caught with their pants around their ankles, huh? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm on here. Everyone <laughs> cringe. So, uh, yeah. With a shotgun, I won't be doing things like this. Waiting for the shots that are never going to happen. Seriously, I just want to mention that's some pretty cool technology. The whole phasing thing. Yeah, yeah. Did they invent it? Or um, is it the hive that is kind of like the brainless enemies? Like the swarm? Um, I wouldn't call them brainless and they're semi-swarm. 
But no, the true swarm happens later. The hive mind. Imagine that, the hive mind isn't the hive. Oh. No, I was just thinking, because did they come up with this technology or did they just steal it? They may have come up with it. I don't really know. I'll have to take a look into the grimoire. Also, hello, wizard. <laughs> exactly what I said. They just love running in front of your bullets. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, the wizard can survive it because it's a fucking wizard. Fucking wizard, man. See, I actively looked away from my target just to fucking shoot at the wizard a little bit there. This is the key to the grave. That's how much I, I hate wizards. I love how it's all like alien architecture, and then it's just like, oh look, it's regular iron chains that are just giant. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Mm. Chains, the most You're effective. You're doing such bindings. a good job, Bungie. <laughs> you really took me out of that one. Do you see H.R. Geiger when he was doing Alien? <laughs> that was alien architecture. Wow. Weren't no iron chains in that shit. Actually, there were, but, you know, the aliens were kind of uh, parasitic in that they, they took over right human to structures, grave. so that makes sense. The this apparently the they house. created themselves, according to what Ghost said. Um, well, they're kind of... They're kind of both. They're innovators and liberators. Yeah. Like, like, um, sure. as I said before, uh, one of the Grimoire mentions that they, or not the Grimoire, but a later, a later mission explains how they are basically surviving off of dead things. Right. For those people at home, I'm, I'm not actually annoyed about anything like that. I don't really care. <laughs> Could have fooled me there. Just in case you couldn't pick up on the sarcasm. Okay, so we got the Thrall or the uh, the swarmy dudes. Yeah, thralls can be dangerous, but if you're expecting them, like I will be most of the time, then they're really no threat because they're really, really, really is. just easy to kill. Well, that's the way, right? Like if you expect someone's coming around for dinner, it makes it easier to hide the bodies. Yeah, exactly. Someone just shows up unaware. Well, <laughs> you got some wacky hijinks on your hands there. <laughs> Do you think Ugg hides the bodies? I don't think so. I think he puts them on display. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Ugg uses a decoration. Like, you know, he, he mounts a thrall head on his wall in like that little trophy plaque. <laughs> so that, that little alcove I just was staring at was a golden chest. I had to re-record this episode because of um, recording software failure. So, but yeah, that was a golden chest that was there. Nothing mm -hmm. special in it, but, you know, figured I'd show where it was. When I break in, they're going to come after us. Yeah, I bet there was 20 epics. <laughs> I wish. Holding out on this python. I wish. Uh, you got the big uh, LMG ready? Um... Yeah, actually, I do. Also, that's, uh, that's a cursed thrall. They explode. Useful for taking out groups of uh, enemy thralls. Yeah, I was going to say, um, if they didn't explode and kill their allies when you shot them, uh, that would be disappointing. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's actually a really effective tool for taking out big clumps of enemies if they're uh, stupid enough to get close. And usually they are. Although, as you'll see later, I had issues trying to get it to work in this video. <clears throat> Mostly because I killed all the thralls before the fucking cursed one spawned. Alright, someone in thread tell me what the Birkenstein limit is. And if that is actually a thing that exists. Or does it just made that up? Um, was it? <laughs> Bungie! Close. They're both Close. with B. Come on. 
So yeah, all that jumping around I did was just to show that off. Boss. To kill one thrall. Oh. And uh, the problem came because the cursed thralls move a lot slower than the regular ones. So getting them close enough like that takes some doing unless it's like naturally occurring. Okay, I've got it all. Oh, we done. There's unbelievable stuff in here. The Hive have seen thousands of worlds yeah. taken by the darkness, and they've been seeking Earth for centuries, waiting for their gods to return. I'll warn the city. Let's get out of here. I hate that exist still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're done here. Ugg just chills. Yeah. The Ugg abides. Chills after some kills. Alright, see you next time, folks. Yep, see you next time.